Joining me now, Jesse Weber, attorney anchor for Law and Crime Network, News Nation legal contributor, and Tracy Walder, former FBI special agent and News Nation security contributor. Tracy, let me start with you. What do you think that foul play means here when they're talking about what they found in the car? Well, thank you so much for having me, Dan. So really, it can mean two different things. The first thing we have to think about, and per that witness report, is why did this vehicle pull over where it was? Why was it in the brush? What made it pull over? Was that an outside force that made it pull over, or was that an inside force that made it pull over? And so two things that would deem it suspicious or foul play would be anything they found outside of the vehicle. Did someone ram into the vehicle? Was there some kind of an accident that took place? Or is there blood and biological material inside the vehicle that leads us to believe that foul play took place? And Jess, you, you were talking to me about a sort of the, the list of, of possible things they could have found or not found that you thought were relevant. Right. If the keys are there or the wallet there. I mean, the fact that they haven't found them signifies to me that cell phones are not of help. Cell phones is the number way to, way, way to track somebody. So is it possible the cell phones were still in the car? Were they turned off? Look, I think one of the most significant aspects of this is that law enforcement has told the public that they are not in imminent danger, which leads me to believe this may have been a targeted attack, or at least that's what they're suspecting. And when you bring up the idea of this custody dispute, I think that's something they're definitely exploring. Yeah, and Tracy Banfield revealed this last night. The grandmother, who has custody of Veronica's kids, filed a motion last fall opposing any changes to the supervised visitation plan, claiming, this is the grandma claiming it, that the children had been exposed to sexual abuse while under the care of their mother. I mean, all of this has got to be the key part of the investigation. Well, absolutely. This is obviously a very contentious case. And also, to add to that, on that order, every Saturday was when Miss Butler was to see her children. So this was a Saturday that she was seeing her children. Also, this vehicle was found in an extremely remote and rural area. So that's another reason that I also believe that this was a very targeted attack. There's no reason to think um, that this would be something other than that, in my opinion. However, I really do think you've got this contentious case where you have the father of the children currently, you know, on probation inside a, a rehab facility. And then you also have the mother who's being accused of these things. This is really just a recipe for an, a familial issue, a familial and, and homicide. Jesse, why no one talking? I mean, you know, really almost nothing coming. I mean, I get it from the investigator's perspective, right? But, you know, usually you start hearing from the friends, you start hearing from the other wit potential witnesses, et cetera. We got this one witness who says, yeah, the car was on the side of the road in a way that wasn't normal. Okay. But, but so little information coming out. It's possible law enforcement told them not to say anything. Yeah. They might be trying to figure it out themselves. This could be a sensitive operation. They're maybe trying to fit the pieces together. It's strange, but at the same time, I'm always of the opinion when more people talk in investigations, sometimes that muddies the waters a little bit as well. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.